Hey YouTubers, Charles Roy here, and thank you for coming back to watch today's tutorial. Now this is the second part to iMovie's three-part tutorial. Uh, this was going to take care of uh, videos and how to manipulate videos. So let's go ahead and get our video from our uh, event library. We're going to go to uh, this event right here, or uh, this uh, category uh, for 2011. This is all footage uploaded from 2011 on. Um, and we're going to go ahead and click sample footage. Now I have two clips that I like to work with. Uh, I have a short clip, which is just me kind of walking up my stairs, uh, and here's another clip where I'm just kind of like um, filming outside of my apartment, just to kind of, this was something I was going to do for color correction and color test in another program, but I figured, hey, why not use this for this tutorial as well. So first thing we want to understand, once we have our footage in our program, is how do we edit the footage? Now, it's, it's really simple. You can either... Uh, click on um, just any given spot in in your your video, and a little yellow box will automatically come up. And these yellow boxes usually are five second long, um, and you could just click and drag the footage up into your project library, and press play, and boom, you got footage into your project library, or should I say your project? Um, but let's say you want something to be longer or shorter. What you want to do is you want to click into the video. And right here on the edge of each of the yellow frames, you'll see like a little um, plus arrow kind of come up that allows you to click and drag and extend the box longer or shorter than what you want it to be. So let's say we want to create a couple quick short shots or short cuts of uh, my apartment. We're going to go ahead and cut just a, a bunch of little frames. Bring that in there. Actually, I think I'm going to take some from the beginning. I like the beginning. And then we bring that up inside. And then we're going to take a clip from here. Click and drag and bring that over here. Let's see how that plays out. You want to press play. Sample. Boom. You see, look. Just cutting it up and putting it where you want to go so you can create you know, your Sample. shots. Obviously, this doesn't look that great because I'm just rushing in. I'm just trying to get whatever shots I can get in there uh, just for, you know, editing purposes so you can see how it works. Um, but once we get into our project, um, the videos aren't set in stone yet. You can still manipulate them more. Um, you can manipulate the color. You can manipulate the position. You can even add text and transitions. So let's say we have our footage here, but we don't like the order that it's in. You can actually click on... Um, a single shot click it once so the yellow box comes up and then you see a hand pop up click and drag between other um, shots and you can actually move your, um, your your picture or your video there and then boom it moves right here so now I'm in the beginning it's really that simple uh, nothing to it so now let's figure out how to add a transition um, and to add a transition you want to go over here uh, and add a transition. This icon right here um, says show or hide transition browser. You want to click that and you're going to see our transition browser pop right up. Now you have multiple transitions you can choose from. Um, I'm sure you've seen most of these transitions, uh, but if you put your cursor over top of a, a transition, you see how the transition actually works. And they give you two stock images so you can kind of see how it works, basically. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, a mosaic, and put it right in the middle of uh, this video and this video. Now when you do that, whenever you're placing either a transition, a text, or another video in between two clips, you're gonna see a green line pop up. That's basically saying you have the go ahead to do this, nothing bad's gonna happen. So you do that, and then boom. A little box pops up and says that you have a transition that's gonna take 0.5 seconds to go from this frame or this video to this video. So let's see how that plays out. Boom. It was that simple. Now, this clip wasn't that long, so by the time it went to this clip, not even a second had elapsed, and it was already going into this clip. All right. So now that we got transitions in there, let's see how we can manipulate the footage, and then we're going to add text to the footage. Uh, what you want to do is you want to double-click your video, um, and a little inspector is going to pop up. Now this is what the inspector looks like. Uh, you can adjust the clip, the video, and the audio. 
for today, we're not, or for this tutorial, we're not going to work on audio. We're only going to work on video and the clip. Um, the clip just allows you to um, kind of put in um, presets they already have created. Obviously, if you don't have a preset on there, it's just going to say none. But you can cl uh, click Vic. Uh, wow. Again, my, uh, my, my, I'm stuttering and I'm, I'm flipping my words around. Um, you're going to click flipped. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, click flipped. Click flipped. Click flipped. Uh, I can say it right. <laughs> but um, but yeah, you can uh, click the flipped um, effect and you see the video will flip around. You can choose raster, uh, cartoon, aged film. You see little lines coming inside of it. Uh, a film green, hard light. Just a bunch of different kind of effects you can choose from that are automatic presets. And obviously, um, picture quality plays a huge role in how these actually look in the end. But... Um, you know, if you don't want to learn how to do it yourself, there you go. You got pre effects that you can use right there, uh, or presets. Uh, we're going to choose cancel. Um, there's also audio effects, but we'll go ahead and go over those in the audio tutorial. So let's go ahead and click video. Here you can adjust your levels, your exposure, your brightness, contrast, saturation, and you can actually give it a tint of um, of a color. Uh, so let's say we want to adjust our levels. Um, your white level is all the way on to the right side, and your black level is all the way on to the left side. Uh, let's say we want to go ahead and make it darker. Boom. You can crush it this way, uh, or you can go ahead and bring it this way, and this will make it brighter. Uh, you're pretty much getting rid of all the black in the image when you do that. When you move the black to the right, you're getting rid of all the white in the image. When you're moving the, the white to the left, you're getting rid of all of the black in the image or the dark hues. Uh, you can adjust your exposure. Uh, from the left, you can drop it down, and it kind of like messes up the gamma correction. Um, you could also bring it up, and it kind of like gives it um, a white, a vibrant look. Um, sometimes this can work for a glowing effect, like if you're doing a, a flashback or a dream. Obviously, you have to edit it correctly, but you can get a pretty good look using that. So we're going to go ahead and undo. Uh, you can uh, work with your brightness. Again, this can help with uh, a dreamy look, but I like using this when I'm editing um, an iMovie because it helps me with uh, color correction immensely. If a, a shot was too dark and you needed to make it just a little lighter um, and the lighting wasn't right on set, you can use this to manipulate that along with exposure and create the look you're going for. So we're going to undo that. Uh, contrast. Contrast allows you to uh, basically, uh, you see right here, if I go down, it kind of makes it gray and it gets rid of some of the, the darker values. Um, if I go over here and go towards the right, it kind of gets rid of some of uh, the, the lighter values. Um, or vice versa. Uh, but again, contrast helps really well when you're coupling it with saturation. Um, a lot of times in um, movies with a lot of CG, what they do is they drop the saturation a little bit on a lot of the different um, files so that the color is easier to work with and that it also looks um, similar and more uh, dynamic and HD and beautiful. And it works. You know, when you drop some of the color down, it gives it a uh, sort of a look that just says major production. I don't know why, it just works. Um, obviously, uh, film quality plays a huge role in whatever you're editing. And sometimes if you have bad quality, like what you see in this picture, um, you got to really pull out some, some scales and get things working to your favor. Um, but the next thing you can do is adjust the color of the video. So by clicking this circle right here, it's a black ring, you can move it around inside of this color ring, and boom, you see all these different colors are, uh, I can give it a warm feel, uh, right here I can give it a little warm feel, I can give it a cool feel, you know, in the, in the blues and the greens, um, or I can just go back to white, and that takes me back to the original color of the frame. But this just gives you the opportunities to add a tint to um, your video. Um, whether you wanted to feel blue, whether you wanted to feel red, purple, green, yellow, uh, this just allows you to work with the color um, and add that extra added effect to your video um, and make it that much better. Also, let's say you don't know what you're looking for. Let's say you need help, you don't have that um, creative imagination to really think outside and say, you know what, I want, I want to drop the exposure here. I want to do this and do that to my video. Well, you're in luck. 
if you click auto, it'll auto adjust your video for you. Um, for some odd reason, it's not working. Um, let's revert to original. Boom. Um, it'll automatically fix it for you. And basically, it dropped down the white just to 98%. I guess it's saying that my video is fine and it's okay the way it is, and it dropped it down to 98%. But certain videos need a lot of work. And when you click auto, it does a lot of work for you. It'll drop the contrast down sometimes. It'll make the contrast go up sometimes. Um, it really does a lot of work for you that um, you probably wouldn't have ever known that you had to do. But apparently iMovie told me all I had to do is drop my, my white uh, and the levels down to 98%. I don't believe that's true. So if I was in After Effects, I'd probably do some crazy things to this right now. Uh, but you can always click revert to original just in case you messed up, you didn't like where it was going, and then once you find out your happy medium, uh, you just click done, you're good to go. And that's manipulating video files um, at its best. Uh, but one last thing before we're done, uh, we want to edit with text. Now if you click the letter T over here in your, um, your, your viewer or right underneath your window, uh, it brings up all your text. Uh, oops, I accidentally clicked it again. Uh, you know, my trackpad, it's really touch sensitive. Um, but this allows you to pretty much select from all the different type of text uh, animations that they have, and you can either make them transitions, or you can have the text over top of your video file directly. So let's say we like this one right here, where the text is kind of like drops in and comes up. Uh, this is something that I would normally create in After Effects, but for you, it's a preset, and you don't really have to worry about how to do that. So first thing we'd like to do is click your um, the text animation, and you can kind of like either bring it and put it over top of a clip. And when you want it to put it over top of a clip, you see the clip turn blue, or you can choose to put the clip in the middle of or the text in the middle of two clips, and that will create um, a transition. So if I put it right in the middle. Um, you have to choose a background. Let's say we choose green. All right, and then uh, I think I like that. Um, it now makes a four-second um, frame of just that text because that's how long the text uh, animation is. So let's click that. Um, you want to click up here in the blue where it says text here, and now in your window you can actually change text the way you want it to look. So let's click text, and let's click. Uh, or let's press I move the, uh, and then we're going to go over here uh, and click here, and we're going to type in tutorial. All right, and let's go ahead and click and drag over to this side, and click and drag over this side, and let's bring this all the way to the front. Now let's see how that plays out. I move tutorial, and then it goes away, and boom. There's our uh, our video file, and that's pretty much how you edit iMovie in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please send me a message at contact at charlesroad.com or send me a message or drop a comment below. Um, I'd love to answer your questions, and uh, I thank you for watching this video. Have a good one.